Greetings, true believers, and welcome back to Spider-Man. Today we have some more side quests and stuff to do, and we're gonna start off by... Well... Tapping into the dark powers of the Spirit of Vengeance. That's right, it's time for the Spirit Spider. Or the Ghost Spider as it was called in the comics. I'm getting emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be... Wait for it! Tombstone! Now, I'm glad he's behind bars, but do you know how Spider-Man shut this operation down? By setting it on fire! Do you know what drug labs do when you set them on fire? They explode! Spider-Man could have taken out the entire block with his criminally reckless grandstanding. Fortunately, New York's bravest, our firefighters, contained the blaze because that's their job. And if Spider-Man had any sense, he'd have turned over whatever information he had on Tombstone to the police and let New York's finest do their job. But no, he thought the best way to handle drug dealing is with arson! I ask you people, does this look like a man who would commit arson? Need to stop those mercenaries fast. Right, so we have another combat challenge right here at the front of the UN building. And this is the Spirit Fire, the suit power for the Spirit Spider outfit. And yeah, it just basically summons Hellfire. Now one thing that I kind of wish is that um they would actually change Peter's voice while he's in this outfit. Like give it some sort of a demonic reverb or something like that. Or pitch it down a couple of notches. I mean normally I would just cut most of this out but... Come on, we all want to see the ghost spider kicking ass. Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good about myself right now. That would have been much better if it had been like pitched down and added some reverb to it. But yeah, that went about as well as one of these combat challenges could. So I'm vaguely proud of that. Anyway, I think that is enough Spirit Spider for one video. We don't want to get too spooky with this, so... Plus, of course, we have more outfits to show off. Such as the wrestler suit here, which is... Well, of course, this was the suit that Spider-Man used when he was wrestling. After he first got his powers. And we can also use the web throw without actually webbing, webbing up enemies. So we can just hold the triangle button and just toss people around. And yeah, this is the wrestler suit from the Ultimate Spider-Man comics. From one of the early issues of that. Of course, in the original comics, in Amazing Fantasy 15, he just kinda whipped together a suit that didn't really have anything to do with Spider-Man at that point. What the hell are you wearing, Spider-Man? Spider-Man, I've got a lot more missing students. The debate club never showed for a meet today. All vanished at once. A coordinated attack. 
Things are escalating. What's their last known location? The club president, Harold, showed up in a tourist's photo stream. The Brooklyn Bridge is definitely in this photo. That's southeast of the university. Ah, the Brooklyn Bridge. Luckily, nothing important has ever happened there in Spider-Man's life. Nope, wrong way. Brooklyn Bridge is on the southeast shoreline. Well, maybe not in this Spider-Man's. I better hurry. Of course, in this continuity, Spider-Man, I don't think he has actually even met Gwen Stacy. And of course, the Green Goblin does not yet exist, so... Trust the gas. If it blows, it'll take out the whole block. They're causing sparks every time they hit the truck. So it's not exactly a major location for, for Spider-Man at this point. Don't you guys have something better to do than blow yourselves up? So now we have to stop these idiots from blowing up this tanker here. We have a timer for this, but it's not too difficult. Damn it. That tanker can't take much more. In case you were confused, flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Thank you. I, I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I, I couldn't stop myself. Sounds like a typical college student. We'll be all right now. Yeah, we just murder everyone with our drones. Like the heroes we are. And for some reason these subtitles were kind of glitching out at that point, but... But that happens. Imagine this, a straight shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, AKA Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about, but I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. That was pretty great. Anyway, one more of these missing persons quests. Spider-Man, we have a crisis situation. The football team went to an away game. Never made it back. They found the buses abandoned. Team, fans, staff... Lee has an army out there. Any leads? Someone recognized the quarterback, Brad Davis, posted a picture. Hold on. That looks like Washington Square Arch. I think this is next to ESU. They're like a pack of wolves. The longer this goes on, the more likely someone dies. Please don't. And they're still saying creepy stuff. Any players on a roster again? I actually have no idea because I don't follow American football. I guess it would be like a couple of dozen. At least that's what you would have in hockey or soccer. First time I've wished our team had fewer fans. Demon, pull around me. 
So yeah, we have a couple of waves of these guys to beat up. And this is where battle focus really helps, as well as the ability to use two finishers in a row. Can just throw those guys in the pile over there and then get hit by one of these melee guys, because of course... I mean, that is what always happens to me, and then we got a big boy here as well. I wish they'd been this persistent against the state. For some reason, Peter doesn't really strike me as the kind of person who would really follow sports in general, college sports or otherwise. Uh-huh. I wanted to throw him in the fountain, but it didn't happen. Is it finally over? Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. You're not the first one this happened to. Good news is, doctors check the others and they don't have any lasting effects. Oh, thanks. I don't know how to repay you. Beat the Wildcats on Saturday and we'll call it even. You did it. All the missing students are accounted for. Good to hear. Maybe now things can get back to normal. Oh, I'm this normal. Right there with you, buddy. And that means we are now done with all of the side quests. So now what we have to do is the research stations as well as the Taskmaster challenges. So let's get on with that. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. And God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data, but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there, fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up. Okay, now to find another link in the array. And we are pointing at the wrong tower because I'm stupid. Just have to keep doing that. It's of course marked in red. Slot overshot that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Yeah, you get extra time every time you actually align one of these dishes, so you're not really in any danger of failing unless you really screw up. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. And I think Spidey has just about run out of quips, so I'll just cut ahead. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Oh good, another one of these. working everything stored successfully should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space and he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing I'm actually not sure what happens with Norman and Oscorp after the end of the game, I guess he might still be involved with Oscorp, even though he had to resign as the mayor of New York. Okay, be careful in here, Pete. 
this station analyzes hazardous chemicals, uh, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes. This is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Yeah, so this mission had a weird glitch that we are about to demonstrate in a bit. Not only is Mini Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. All's fine so far. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Yeah, about that. Yeah, none of the crowds are actually spawning in. So that's a bit weird. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is going on. Maybe... Might have something to do with all the emergency vehicles here, but... But yeah, that was very odd. End of the trail. He's in this crowd. Time to smoke him out. If you say so. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got him. Now to get the fuel back. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost-effective, they'd be a big help. Yeah, I am really not sure what happened in all of that, but... At least we managed to complete the mission normally, so it was just weird. Chemicals back where it belongs, I beefed up the station's security, and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. Next time, the rest of the research stations.